You were abducted and taken to an alien planet where they hunt you for sport and honor. Little do they know they've doomed themselves, for you're a werewolf and they took you to a planet with six moons. Part 1. It was like looking into the goddamn sun. I opened my eyes and my whole body contracted. Through squinted eyes I could see nothing but light blinding me, and then I noticed I was wearing no clothes and on the floor of some featureless room. Watch, listen, wait. It smelled like a mix of ozone and erasers. I realized that I had no clothes on and went through my usual ritual of recalling where I would have stashed phone, wallet, keys, and pants, but could recall when I had changed. I shrugged. Sometimes the change comes on strong. You don't get a chance to really stash belongings sometimes. That's the currency of the curse. You play the hand you have with the chips remaining. And I was pantless. In what felt like a cell. I say cell but could see no obvious doors, bars, windows, damn near fuck all was visible with all this light. Hey, is anyone there? Can you turn these lights down, please? I cried to the bright void. The sound of a whoosh behind me indicated a few things to me. Six aft and five, eleven, female and male, something off in the smell. Smelled like baby skin does, fresh, unblemished new, which is strange for a full-grown adult. Our most, ah, uh, sincere apologies the female said. Listen, the words, the tone unfamiliar, like someone speaking a language they've only practiced, hesitant, unsure, but free of accent. Yes, we tried to simulate the rising sun, uh... The male made a gesture like he was reaching for a word he couldn't quite find. Calming effect, we're told, to wake up from. With a gesture from the male, brown hair, brown eyes, gray suit, weird cut, and a perma smile, the lights dimmed enough for me to no longer need to squint. You're off by a few lumens, I said. Stall. Give no disadvantage. The lone wolf only has a single chance to strike. You'll have to pardon my, uh, undress. I can't remember anything about the party, I said. I felt no shame in the nakedness, but it was normal to express shame for people, so I play the hand with the chips I have. We took the liberty of removing your clothing. The female spoke. Brown hair also, brown eyes. Related. Possibly twins from build and face shape. Near on a carbon copy of different sex. I see. We would like to express our sentiments. This may come as a shock to you, but we are not as we appear to be. The female resumed. Oh, I replied with practiced earnest. I've dealt with hunters precisely one time before. The vibe was similar. Quoting the good of all entirely too polite for the things they wanted to do to me. We have taken this form to ease your mind, but we have come from another planet for a ritual that is paramount to our culture. Okay, that's a new one. We understand this realization may come as a shock to you. We have prepared materials that may help ease your mind. No need. I buy it, I said with undeserved confidence. They both looked at each other and I stifled a chuckle. Your predecessors usually require time to... The male began. You're aliens. I buy it. Why am I here? The female looked someone flabbergasted, and that told me I played my hand a little too soon. Had I feigned ignorance, put on a show of vulnerability, they may have underestimated me. Other life may be harder to accept for some, but when you pay in the currency of the curse, you buy into the idea of other forms of life. The female made a sweeping gesture. For time uncountable, our people have proven themselves as the apex of the universe by hunting the dominant species of lesser planets. The chosen of these other worlds are considered to be the closest equal beset of our own people. We consider you to be, on some caliber, an exemplary specimen of your people. The male said, Thanks. I work out, I replied. No laughs. Just a pregnant pause where they smile to disguise their confusion. What's that indicate? Are they new at this? Don't understand colloquialisms? Am I just not funny? I end the silence. So, it's a hunt? A glorious hunt, the female exclaims. There's a red glint in her eye. Ah, uh, so the beast shines through, emotional. Pathos built decision-making, with an ego. Watch, listen, wait. Will I be given anything to defend myself with? I asked. The male nodded. We have procured a number of your primitive technologies that you yourself may operate. I made a gesture that weighed the possibilities. I'm guessing nukes, tanks, or planes are off the table. The female stepped forward. Are you able to operate those devices? She asked in a motherly tone. I am not. 
then they will not be made available. Bitch, this isn't designed to be a fair fight. From the posturing, tone, hell, even the skin suits all indicate that they are way above in terms of firepower. 